So here is uh, how to farm a lot of ghost yarn through the fiber and pollen method. So here is how much we managed to a row and more of ghost yarn we managed to get on an official merciless squad server. And I will show you why fiber is so damn good in this game now with the new update. First up, in order to get uh, ghost yarn, you need the uh, ghost shrooms. And these ones, you can get a lot of seeds by going bat form towards the Silverlight City. And every hour, the stock of seeds repl replenishes. And you can buy fish, potions, and seeds and bat form out because they're teleportable. So we got a lot of them and you just grab a lot of ghost shrooms from time to time. If you don't have enough gold sun coins to buy the, all that stock, you need to get your hand on a fabricator. And you see the fabricator is basically the coin printer. And you can make copper coins if you want to buy fishes. Silver coins using silver ore, but that's not the most useful one. The most useful one is the gold ingot one. Just farming gold ingots through normal method by killing silver light mobs. And you can turn a lot of silver coins that you will have a surplus of into gold sun coins. And uh, this is also very good for... Uh, progressing through the technology as you can buy books. But the most important part is the pollen and the fiber. So in order to get a lot of pollen and fiber, I recommend you grab a lot of seeds, any random seeds that you can get your hands on. Early game, you can buy seeds from Trader, get them from Polora, and uh, just grab a lot of them. Co cotton is the most efficient one because cotton stacks to 500 instead of 200 so you can see a stack of cotton is 500 a stack of roses is 200 and any flower everything except hell's clarion is considered a flower you put it in the grinder and you get a ton of pollen that way and here is the whole process basically any leather that you have you combine with fiber to make cloth any pollen and fiber you make coarse thread and coarse thread using cloth you can make wool thread for the tier 2 armor and the wool thread needs to be used with the ghost shroom and cotton to make the ghost yarn. So just a lot of it can lead, make you have a lot of that. And to get uh, the leathers, I also recommend farm silkworms and mutant grease. A silkworm you need for uh, the silk. And mutant grease you need uh, for uh, pristine leather using the verming nest. At the verming nest, there are two recipes that are absolutely insane and you should try them. It's the mutated rat and the spider link just for some uh, grinded bones from grain dust and a sludge filled canister which you can make using glass you just take it and teleport it to the sludge fill it up and bring it back you get a ton of mutated grease you don't need to farm it in the open world and with mutated grease and fish bone which you can uh, uh, blood press fishes to get fish bone or and you can also find fish bone you get spider links which are a lot of silk so those two are very strong now the best places to farm fiber apart from decayed and raided bases uh, I will be doing some testing by just doing this attack and uh, uh, axe E attack using 100% worker blood in various places and see for 5 minutes how much I can get. Let's start by trying to farm a random field with 100 worker blood near this way gate in the tier 1 area using these two attacks. And that is the time. So that was enough and we found two inventories of plant fiber and a ton of wood. Let's try the abandoned farm using these two attacks and see how much fiber we get. And that is the time. So in 5 minutes we got 2 bags of fiber and a bit using the farming field. The farm field was this much, almost a bag of fiber. But the fields are worth it. We go, went from up here all the way around down to Dawnbreak village apparently. So this road we followed.
So yeah. All right, let's cut some grass over here in Brighthaven Vineyards. Using these two attacks and worker blood. And we're back where we were. And that is the time. We have a... Uh, Three bags of everything fiber and some decent stone and wood. Hope this info helps you farm for your entire team all the armor sets you will lose in PvP. Another thing to note is that uh, it matters what seeds you farm first. For example, if you farm a hundred ghost shrooms compared to a hundred roses first, if you farm the ghost shrooms first, you will get a lot of seeds for the ghost rooms and if you farm the 100 roses first you'll get a lot of seeds for the roses it seems to be like there is a cooldown for getting too many seeds so farm the most important seeds first thanks for watching